I started at the absolute lowest echelon of life and I would like to consider myself pretty somewhere near the top now. I've been through absolutely every stage. So when I say to men, you can become anything you want, and my answer to you is masculine excellence, there's no other answer. I can't tell you how to rig the game and cheat the game. If we're all racing a race and I have a Ferrari and you have a Nissan, I mean, sure, you can get a bit better at driving, but you're probably going to lose. You have to get a, a better character to play this game of life. So that's why I preach masculine excellence, because for many of the world's problems today, porn, sexual access, being respected by your peers, making sure that your wife's going to stay with you after the children are born for a very long time, that's right. being happy, anything, it all comes down to who you are as a man. The, a lot of the answer, the only answer is masculine excellence. There's nothing you can do besides hard work, accept the trauma and pain and suffering, and, and work harder than everyone else around you worked. If you were a girl with all the choices she has, would you choose you? I take accountability for everything in my life. Even going to jail, although it was unfair, although it's a matrix attack, although it's garbage, it was my fault. I sat there and go, what did I do wrong? How can I learn from this? Where, did, where is my part to play in this? What did I do? Because my actions are what I have the most control over. How about depression? The number of people who defend depression Depression's ruined my life, it's super real, and I lost my wife, and my life is over, and I want to kill myself, it's real. I'm like, surely you should like my, my worldview. If depression's so terrible and it's destroyed your entire existence, right. you should be listening to me tell you it's not real. Right. But instead, they're defending it and sticking up for it, which I find very interesting. Maybe it's as simple as saying, I feel a little bit depressed today, but I am not a depressed person right. and I cannot become depressive. I'm not going to have depression. Maybe it's just a semantics trip. And by saying that alone, I understand that it's a temporary state of mind, which I can alter and I can affect. And I've never struggled with long-term depression or long-term negative thoughts because I don't believe in that mental model. Your mind, like I said, is software, it's programmed in and they say inside the matrix or in every single video game, there are boundaries and there are limits or certain things you can and can't do. And I don't believe I, my mind can be put in a state of permanent negativity. I don't believe in that. I don't think it's possible. So it just doesn't happen. The easiest way to feel good is to make others feel good. I believe that humans exist that way. And I think that's why we're societal animals. Even in jail, when I felt my worst, my goal was to make someone else smile. Because if I can make someone else smile, I would smile. I'm going to have to say we have this disease where if there's something wrong with you as a man, you have a disease because your life sucks. I mean, I don't think that's true. I think that your life just sucks and you should change it. You're never going to be a good man or good at being a man without pain and suffering. You're going to have to go through a bunch of, of shit and have a terrible life to become a good man. I think you should embrace that and accept it. And I think that the the correct mental model for men to have is a degree of stoicism and not to be too concerned with even how they feel. Why put so much importance on my emotion if certain things must be done? I must work, I must train, I've got things to do. So, who, so why are we going to sit around and talk about how I feel if it doesn't even affect how I act? And as a man, it shouldn't, because there's too much to do. You're not going to be able to compete with the person who performs regardless of how they feel if you only compete when you feel like competing, right? Because there's men like me out there who will be sad every day and I'll compete you regardless. I don't care how I feel, I will still win. My argument also for depression is on my worst days, I was my most charming, my most energetic, my most interesting, my most talkative. Yeah. I was happiest on my worst day because I decided that's how I have to be to stop myself feeling bad. You're a man and you're upset and you want to be X. I'm telling you how I became what I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. This is what I did. My general consensus is that I don't think I can change or affect the world to the point where pain and suffering and bad things are not going to happen. So isn't it best if I just enjoy all of that? Doesn't that make me as powerful as possible if I say, oh yeah, okay, this is going to suck, good. I mean, I do it when I fight. Uh -huh. Yesterday I was fighting, right? We were right. doing 12 rounds and all of us were destroyed. And the more he hurt me, the more I wanted to hurt him back. The more he hurt me, the better it felt. The more powerful I felt, the more he hit me. Because then it's my turn, right? So if I can't stop him from punching me, and I'll do my best, but if I can't, then surely you should learn to enjoy it, right? I do not believe in things that take away power from me. I, ref I refuse to do that. 
I would rather say that they are not real. And people will sit here and argue to the end of time that they are real, but they're not real in my world, and I live inside of my mind. So even if you throw me in a Romanian dungeon, the idea that I become a depressed person is not a framework that my mind works within, so I can't become depressed. I can feel a little bit sad, sure, I can feel depressed, but I can't be depressed. That's just a mindset I've installed and it's allowed me to be competitive and I believe, personally, my personal beliefs are that life as a man is hyper competitive and whatever software you have in your mind should be designed to make you as competitive as possible and you shouldn't be believing in absolutely anything else. I've tried very hard to make sure all of my worldviews and all of my experiences and everything is created and aimed in a, a direction which is going to allow me to be a fiercer competitor in all realms of human endeavor. People challenge me often. And what a lot of people don't understand is that I will never adopt the thinking of somebody who is sad and I will never adopt the thinking of somebody who is less competitive than I am or less successful than I am. If someone comes along and goes, Andrew, you are wrong. The way you see the world is wrong but they are suffering from an affliction, why would I adopt a single iota of what they say? I don't think you can stop life from hitting you, and I don't think you can stop life from giving you unexpected surprises, and I don't think you can stop yourself from feeling sometimes sad or anxious or upset. So I think the best mindset you could adopt is finding that engaging and exciting. You're depressed, fine. Have you trained today? Well, that doesn't change what you should do with your life. I was in a Romanian jail cell with cockroaches crawling all over me as I slept. I never missed a day of training. I wouldn't say I was particularly happy. Push-ups must be done. I think that if you are black, white, Asian, I think if you stand up, self-respect, work hard, try your best, turn up on time, firm handshake, don't make excuses for anything. Don't look for an easy way out. No matter what your skin color is, in America or England or any other Western nation, I think you can be extremely successful. If you adopt that mindset, if you wake up and you're a particular color and you're purple, and you believe purple people can't make it, what's your chance of making it? Zero. Even if the world's racist against purple people, the best thing you can do is be such an exceptional purple person that they need you and the they need you. The, the only answer is hard work. The only answer is self-accountability. Masculine essence, honor, dignity, making your ancestors proud of you because you hold the same last name as them. The answer is the same regardless anyway. If someone were to come to me and say, Andrew, you're a mixed race, you're from a single mother household, you're never going to be rich. I'll say, watch me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Who are you?